From the DMZ to the NATO front, this is CRN. Welcome to the Lightning Round. Welcome. Well, hello, and welcome to the Dave Kirshner Lightning Round podcast. Um, this is a quick hit. Just want to talk about one thing. It'll only be a few minutes. It's not a full episode. Um, and so John Jeffers reached out to the podcasters and said, "Hey, you know, you don't have to keep saving everything up for a full show if you if there's something you want to talk about." And uh, I thought, yeah, I'll do that today. Um, he asked some time ago, but I thought, well, why not? Uh, so today is September 12th. And, uh, it, you know, you had the weekend full of social media and TV shows uh, commemorating the, uh, the 9-11 attacks 21 years ago. And it kind of got me thinking. On the heels of the most divisive speech uh, given by any U.S. president that I can recall. Is it possible for the United States to return to the levels of national pride that were felt on September 12th in 2001, given the current political climate? I mean, can we do that without... A crisis without a tragedy and I, I don't think we can I really don't um, the the left has been unchecked for too long uh, we're starting to push back uh, not only in our schools and our school boards but against our government and the things that they're trying to accomplish with their climate change agenda and their uh, socialist agenda and these things. Um, so barring a, another crisis or a tragedy, I, I don't see how we come back from this. Can a, a president get elected that actually unifies the country? And even though I proclaimed last week that I think that the next president is going to be Ron DeSantis, the left hates that guy because he shut down the, the pedo camps over in Disney um, and started shutting down all of the recruitment that was taking place in the Florida schools with these woke progressive teachers and uh, prohibited them from trying to hide things from parents. The left hates that guy. So even though I think he'll be a great president and I think he'll be the next president, I don't know if the left would allow him to be a unifier. So that begs the question, um, can this be, can the country be unified again without a crisis or a tragedy? And I think the answer is no. Can the country be unified again without violence? Meaning either a mini Civil War II or a full-blown Civil War II. I hope so. Um, but, you know, uh, when I say people are pushing back, I'm talking about, you know, they're doing it through words. They're doing it through books. They're doing it through interviews. Uh, they're doing it through news articles, uh, whether it's, you know, on a news channel, a new show, or it's an op-ed or whatever. People are pushing back. People are waking up uh, to what the left has been doing since the 50s. And can the country go back to where it was in terms of national pride and looking out for your uh, countrymen, you know, and, and not seeing your countrymen as some sort of uh, mass media label like white straight man uh you know 
black woman or, you know, uh, Mexican or Asian or, you know, going back to September 12th, 2001, where everybody was just an American. Can that be accomplished without violence? My answer is I hope so, but I'm not optimistic for it. So, you know, and I'm, and I'm curious, what are you doing on a daily basis to try and lead a better life under the principles of what we did as a country on September 12th, 2001. Um, so yeah, that's my quick hit for the day. Be good, stay safe, keep your head on a swivel. I'm out. Happy Hunger Games. And may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you.